and I want to welcome you today to my YouTube and my Facebook live. I'll just wait till all the streams come on. Yes, I am now live. Okay, so I'm Karina Chen. I'm in Edmonton, Alberta, and I've been doing this for 15 years, and I mainly do it because I love to share my stamping. I love stamping, and I love to teach people how to stamp. So I run classes, a whole bunch of online classes, some in-person classes, and then I do a bunch of videos. So if you're learning how to stamp, you can just watch the video uh, replay and also make some fun cards and stamping projects. So I decided to hold a catalog kickoff party because Stampin' Up! has launched their new mini catalog that started on the 5th. Was that Thursday? I don't know. Time's flying by. So I did a catalog tour the other day, so you can just find that on YouTube. If you go to YouTube under Karina's Creations, it's all one word. Uh, you can actually go to hit live videos, and that's where most of my videos are living these days. So it's YouTube, Karina's Creations, that's the spelling, all one word, no space. And then um, if you wanted to place an order for any supplies, you can go to karinachin.stampinup.net. The current hostess code is J-E-U, uh, sorry, J-E-H-U-F-V-F-Q. And then you can order whatever supplies you want. So I like to mention that at the beginning because I get so excited with stamping, I just forget. And let's go back to me. And also I've got a special going on till Monday night. And if you place a $60 order, you get uh, something free from Stampin' Up! from the Celebration Catalog. So they only do this two times a year and there's a bunch of options. I'll show you in a second. And then plus you get a couple free card kits from me. And again, I did a video on this. So if you, you place an order, you will get access to the video, which was my catalog kickoff party launch. Isn't that a cute card? So this uses the new Country Floral Lane product suite. It's 108.25 for the product suite. So you might as well bump it up to 120 and get a free level two celebration item. That's kind of my tip. Um, celebration is fun. It only happens um, two months out of the year. This year, that's all there's going to be. And then this was the other card that we made at the launch party. So you'd get a kit for this one and then also a kit for this one. So aren't these cute? This is the reverse side of the designer series paper. So let's just see if anybody is jumping on to join me today. I was supposed to come on at one. And this is why I don't usually do videos on Saturday. Saturdays are so tricky for me. I've got lots of work I got to get done today. You would think I'd take a day off, but I absolutely don't. Oh, Margaret Ann's here and Gail's here. Hello, Gail. I missed you last night. Uh, what I decided to do today was I had my crafting crew team get together last night. We always get together on the first Friday of the month and I do it on Zoom because I've got people with the starter kit who are scattered across Canada now. So it's just an easy way for us to still connect and get together and stamp together. So in our group, we're called Crafting Crew. So I issue um, a challenge, a mystery stamping card challenge. And then I send out the measurements and everybody comes with their pieces cut. They can either pre-make their card or wait to see what the card looks like. So I thought that would be fun to share it with you today and then we'll make a card based on that. So that is the plan for today. And uh, let's see here. I'll just go down really quickly. Yeah, Gail, sorry I missed it. You missed it too. I know it's hard when you're not in your regular space, right? But I'm happy you're here and you'll get to see the mystery stamping card and you can stamp along with me. Okay, before we start... I just wanted to tell you why celebration is so great. First of all, I'll just mention that if you have looked at the mini catalog and you have a huge wish list and it's more than $135 or $175, consider getting the starter kit. They've got a great special on right now. Uh, the one I like the best is for $175, you get this new little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. It comes in a boho blue, which is an exclusive color. And then you get $225 in product. Anything you like. That is a great deal. Or if you don't need a mini machine, you can get the starter kit for $135 and still pick out $225 in product. So that's huge. I haven't seen that much of free, that amount of free stuff for a long time. So that is a really good deal. 
and you can pick it out from the mini catalog or the annual catalog and if you don't have catalogs shoot me a message and I will send one to you so and two when you place your $60 order right you get card kits from me for these super cute cards look at this paper isn't this beautiful so this is where I'm going with this so let me flip the page da, 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 da. So one of the free celebration items that you could get with a $60 order is the Adorable Owls. Now, I've showed a few cards done with that. Um, also, when you place a $60 order with me, you get an invite to my free Adorable Owls card making class, which is going to be the end of February. Like, how adorable is that, right? Adorable Owls. Adorable card. Get it? Oh, Otto. Can you guys hear Otto? Not good, not good, puppy. Anyway, next we have Thanks a Bunch, which is what I'm going to create with my card today. And I'm just going to shut my door because Otto is being very naughty right now. I even gave him a treat. So Otto is my 10-month-old mini schnauzer puppy, and he likes to park himself in front of the window and bark at people. So that's not necessarily a good thing. The next thing I wanted to share is a beautiful Dainty Flowers Designer Series paper. So I've got a lot of cards made with that one as well, which I've been showing over the last couple days. I'm just trying to see if I have anything close by. Don't think I do. Don't think I do. But the paper is really pretty. Look at these fun patterns that you get. So like this is one, two, three, four, five, and I think this is six, right? So different patterns of it. And then the reverse side is super pretty as well. So it's either florals or just solid colored patterns. But you know what? Honestly, I like these two the best. It's like a water colored look, and I think they are really, really pretty. This is one card that I've made with my dainty delight flowers and it does have a stamp set and dies that coordinate with it so if you get the stamp set and dies you get the paper for free right super pretty and then also for free with the $60 order is the wonderful day at the farm paper which honestly when I saw that I was like ah what am I going to do with that I don't need that paper well now I've changed my mind I started playing with some stuff and I'll just see look at these patterns so we have this pattern then we have this sheet i love this i think this is my favorite you know this would be really great if you have friends um who garden you could make them you know give them a couple seed packets put a little thank you ribbon around it and a little thank you for being my friend gift this is actually one full sheet i've cut this down for my paper shares that i'm running right now uh, you get a quarter package of all the papers. The 12 by 12 paper is $48 and the 6 by 6 paper packs are 20 And then I also have a ribbon share. When you buy all three shares, you also get the celebration paper as well. And then look at this. Isn't that just cute? I like the little animals. You can see I've been cutting them out. I'll show you my mystery card that I made with it last night right away. And then finally, the last paper pack is this one called favored flowers and it does have a stamp set and dies that match it but you can make all these beautiful cards so last night with crafting crew when you get the starter kit through me i send out card kits to um everybody in my group who wants one they're five dollars two dollars for shipping or they're welcome to just cut their own because i do send them out a pdf tutorial so the pdf tutorial looks like this and then they can cut their own kit. Some people just use, they usually use whatever stamp sets they have. Or I give it out a couple weeks before if they want to order the stamp set to make it exactly like the PDF tutorial. And these are what the cards looked like last night. Like, isn't that pretty? And this is a beautiful Favored Flowers Designer Series paper. Right? And then it has matching embellishments. Isn't that fun? Now, I always get out stamped. My my friends always outstamp me so a lot of them put a piece of white in here and I thought they did a way better job than I did just saying 
And then two, that's what this one looks like. And then you'd put a piece of white on the back for your sentiment as well. But that shows you a sample of what you can do with the Favored Flowers stamp set um, and dies and paper. Because when you get the stamp set and dies, you get the paper for free. So I think um, Stampin' Up! did such a great job coming out with celebration stuff. And the other thing I like is that the dies actually cut out this flower. So you don't even have to stamp your image. You can just cut it out if you want. And then the single rows as well, it cuts out. There's a die for that. So super fun, right? Look how nice that is. And then finally, what's this one? Then we also have in the country stamp set, Beautifully Happy. So Beautifully Happy is a $120 stamp set um, because it's just beautifully amazing. You know, I've got lots of samples done with that one. Look at all these. So I was in a swap with some other demos. So I didn't make these ones, but I swapped for them. When you have a demonstrator number, that's one thing you can do is join up for swaps and trade with other demos. And it's just so fun to see what they make. But isn't that beautifully beautiful? Seriously, I love these cards. And it's a two-step stamp because um, you don't have to color it with markers. It has a filler, kind of a filler image. So you stamp your outline and then ink up your filler image in another color. So for example, this one was blue and you just stamp it on there and your flower is done. So it's really, really fun to color these images. And because celebration is on, I would recommend buying the ink pads in, in packs of 10 ink pads because at the back of the catalog, if you need some new inks, this is what it looks like. So Stampin' Up! has a wonderful large color collection section. The one beauty with Stampin' Up! is that, and one thing they're known for is color coordination. So they have um, an ink pad and then they have the cardstock and then they had the uh, stamp and blends the ribbon the paper the designer series paper everything matches so it makes it really easy to make beautiful projects and when you buy a package of 10 of them because the ink pads are $11 each they're kind of hidden here on the assortments and bundle page but you can get a package of 10 ink pads for only $99 for the whole set. So that is really fun. Now they weren't available for a while, so I hope they're available now. If they're not available, I hope someone will let me know. I think they are because they are a saving. So hopefully it's okay. I know for sure the celebration um, colors are available. They're, that's a set of five. So if 10 is too much for you, get a package, a set of five. Get a set of five ink pads and you're ready to go and then I'm gonna focus on this today so this paper pack is free with a $120 order I'm using this pattern so let's just set that aside look at this beautiful paper pack you get 48 sheets and you get some greens you get some balmy blues uh, mango melody calypso coral pale papaya fresh freesia and if you're not sure what these colors are, you look at the back of the paper pack and it tells you. So when I when I first place my order, I take a look at the designer series paper I'm using and then I make sure I have a couple of these colors so that I can start stamping right away. Because I gotta have my blues match. It drives me crazy if my blues do not match. A balmy blue has to be matched with a balmy blue. That's just how I roll. And then if you spend $375 you get the scenic garden stamp set for free as a bonus now you're probably thinking oh that's a lot of money to spend it's okay maybe you have a few friends who want to um, you know place an order so I can play place a group order for you guys if somebody wants to have the scenic garden stamp set and I also do private classes so I've got two private classes booked um, this month and next month for some ladies who want to learn how to stamp so that's really fun so I do do in-person classes um, as well, just not usually at my house. Now I'm just checking Facebook and it says, oh, Leona's here. Hello, Leona. Yes, I'm sorry you missed the team meeting too. I'm going to be sending out the recording later today. I have it recorded. My email's almost complete. I will get on that for you. Okay, are you guys ready to do the mystery stamping? I think I covered everything. So yeah, so make sure if you're thinking about placing an order, you do it by Monday because then you also get tickets into the door prize draws. 
um, and you get like one ticket for um, orders $35 you get the make and take kits an order of $60 you get the make and take kits plus a door prize entry draw orders of $120 you will get all that plus I'll give you a free embellishment as well in the mail so it's a pretty good deal plus an invite to my owl class that's a lot of free stuff okay so when you're part of my team in our group Facebook group this is what I send out crafting crew mystery challenge and I send it out a week before our meeting and these are the pieces that you need to bring to our little zoom session and then we put them together so cardstock needs to be five and a half by eight and a half inches so go grab this and you can stamp along with me and you can pretend that you're part of our crafting crew group because this is exactly what we do for one of the parts of our get together everybody seems to love this and it's it's just really fun because i get everyone to share what they make it's so fun okay let's just see i don't want to ignore anybody if they're on youtube as well Kathy's here. Maureen's here. Hello, Maureen. Hello, Kathy. Grab your paper and do a mystery card with me. And then afterwards, post it and show me what you made. So I love seeing that. Hello, Bilkis. Nice to see you too. Okay, likewise, grab a piece of paper. And then later today, I'm sending out our team video that we did from last night. And then I'm cutting for my Wednesday morning and Monday night card class today and tomorrow. Okay, so what did I say we needed? Five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. So it's just, you just take a regular piece of cardstock, put it the kind of the long side at the top and cut it in half. So in half is five and a half inches. And I say that because if you're a new stamper, you might not know how to cut card bases. So that gives you two card bases. Like how easy is that? now this gets a little bit tricky we're making a fancy fold so we have to score it at a few different places so i'll just fold this up you need to score it at two inches three and one eighth five and three eighths and six and a half so what i do is i literally count my tick marks i'll show you in a second so two inches well that's super easy right you just line it up at two score it and then three and one eighth see there is these sort of longer tick marks you go one two three four five six seven eight takes you to four so i said i need three and one eight so it's the first not the 16th is the short line but you want the first kind of the second i guess the second line beside the three so that's our first tick mark and then i want five and three eighths so you go to five and then you count the longer tick marks so one two three so it's it's the line before six and a half so one two three and then the last one is six and a half now if you have the trimmer six and a half is in no man's land it's kind of this long one right between it's the closest one to the join where the arm joins so that's six and a half and then that gives you your card oh i did it wrong whoa okay hold on a second what did i say two inches three and one eighth five and three eighths and six six and a half ah six and a half okay we'll cover it with paper and nobody will know can you see my boo-boo I didn't pull it over to six and a half but don't worry watch this every card is fixable and i've been doing this for 15 years so if you're new and you make a mistake don't feel bad i just did it okay now the next thing we need is the designer series paper so one and three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter you need two of them so i'm getting our brand new free paper that i got with celebration and I'm just going to cut this, what did I say? One and three quarters. So let's get two of those. One and three quarters by five and a quarter. So there's one. There's two. And I'm just going to use the back side of this as well. So I'm going to flip it over this way. And I this time I need 
three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter. Now, when you do three quarters of an inch, you can either go to this side or you can go this side. I like to go this side. I don't know why. That's just how I do it. So three quarters of an inch and I need two of those. So that is also five and a quarter. And five and a quarter. And if you made one of these last night with me, make another one and um, make sure you show me what you made. Because we had some pretty fun designs last night. I just love it. My group is so crafty. And they're way better stampers than I am, I have to say. A lot of them. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is glue down our pieces. But I'm going to fold mine first. So I'm going to start with this score line. It's going to be a valley. And then a mountain. And then a mountain. And then a valley. Ta-da! So that's the basic design of the card. Now, it can either be an any or an outie card. So this is an outie card. Or you can flip it and have it go this way, right? So you choose which way you want to do it. This is the way I designed mine. So I'm going to stick with this. But we had some people last night do it the other way. And that was also super fun. Okay, so let's open this up and get this paper down. So I'm just going to use my liquid glue. I like this glue because it's only $5.50. It's cheap. It sticks your paper together really well. And then my second favorite is my Stampin' Seal, which also it's a, it's a tape runner. I like it too. But it does give me grief sometimes. I don't know why. I'm just a liquid glue kind of girl. It's fast. And great stick. Okay. And then on these little side panels, we're going to put this here. Oh, this didn't work the best, this pattern, because you really can't really see the side panels, can you? That's okay. It'll still work. It will still look not too bad. So we'll put this down. I kind of like polka dots better. Too late. I put my glue on. And every time you make a card, it's a little bit different, right? That's the fun thing about card making. Now, because it's green, you can't really see it. It looks like there's a bigger space than there is. That's what I don't love about it. But just wait till I get it decorated. It's going to look really pretty. And I'll show you my other samples after. Okay, so this is what we're working with. Now, I wanted to try Thanks a Bunch. Because I think this is a really, really unique stamp set. We haven't had one of these before. So it's kind of fun getting my other pieces I need this and this and then I need this and then I need my carrot card samples this is what I've got so far as swaps so this is thanks a bunch so I got this one here see this cute little image here so it says thanks right super cute thanks a bunch that's really pretty and then this is one that I made for a swap, but I did different carrot colors, right? Hey there. And then, oh, happy day. So this is the rainy day um, product suite. I think he's so cute, but he's happy because he's got a giant carrot. Like what bunny wouldn't be happy with a giant carrot? I think my dog would be happy with a giant carrot too. Okay, so that's what I'm going to make with this one. Oh, I'm showing my sneak peek. Pull that back. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, should I, how many carrots should I do? Now I need a bit of scrap paper because I think it's going to go off a little bit. So I have cut this with these great dies. These are the deckled rectangle dies and you can see the shape looks like this. It's got a little bit of a wavy edge. Really cute. And I think I'm going to go like this. Let's plan this out. I want these to go here. I think my carrot's going to have to go off the paper a bit. Okay, now there is a solid carrot. And then there is a bit of a kind of detail that you can layer on top. Which is why it's called two-step stamping. I'm going to use pale papaya. And I'm going to try calypso coral. So hopefully this will work. Let's see. Let's put one right about here. 
Now I could have stamped off to get a lighter shade, but um, I think it's fine. I'm going to try Calypso Coral because I haven't tried this combination yet and I want to see what it looks like. Now I could just leave my carrot. It's got quite a bit of detail. If I don't like it, I'll flip the paper over, right? Because there's two sides to every paper. Okay, so let's go like this. Now I have to stand up because I want this image to go at the edge. See how close I get it. Oh, that's pretty good. So this is Pale Papaya and Calypso Coral. Ooh, a little off. But not bad, right? Pretty good. I'm happy with that. See, it doesn't take much to make me happy. Give me some cute cards. Do a little paper crafting and life is good. Okay, now I'm going to use some Granny Apple Green because that's the color I'm using here. I'm just going to go like this for my carrot tops. Now I could re-ink it each time. I don't want to. I'm not doing it. Okay, isn't that cute? Look at this fun card. Now there's no pale papaya in here. Maybe I should have done fresh freesia carrots. I might have to redo this card. We'll see. Anyway, I've got that done now. And now it needs some kind of a sentiment. So we have this really great brand new bundle called Something Fancy. It's got these amazing dies and then all the new sentiments fit in here. Now I want to use Thanks a Bunch. Um, the Something Fancy dies are, I wrote it down, $63.75. So you could get this and get the carrot stamp set uh, for free. Or you can get this plus the On the Farm bundle, and that would take you to $120 and get the paper for free, right? Because you need $120 for the paper. So that's an option too. But where I'm going with this is I wanted the die. So I'm going to use the smallest label shape. And we're just going to die cut a piece of paper with my new little stamp a cut and a boss machine. So let's grab that up. We'll see if I can get it to work today. It worked great last night. I say that because I was having technical difficulties the other day when I was rolling it through on camera. Okay, so let's put it on here. When you get your stamp a cut and a boss machine, it tells you um, if you're doing your die cutting, you want the die cutting edge down, you need plate one and then two plate twos. So the instructions are on here, which I love. Okay, and let's just die cut one of these little labels. Let's see what this card looks like. Okay, let's see if it'll go through today. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Ta-da! Magic, and it worked today. Oh, I'm on fire with my stamping, you guys. Might have to be a, making swaps today. Because our next crafting crew swap challenge, I decided that everybody is sending each other a Valentine's card. Because I don't know about you, but I love getting cards in the mail. It just makes me so happy. And it's so fun. And it's not a bill. Okay, so I need a cute little sentiment on here. So what I was thinking is thanks a bunch. But then I also want friend because we have, who has this stamp set? Where did it go? Best family ever. You just need this for your collection. It's $33, but look, it's got everything. Grandma, grandpa, mom, mom, baby, wife, sister, cousin, grand, whatever. It's a sentiment that you need. And then plus all these happy birthday, thanks, congratulations. This is going to be a keeper and you might as well get it. And get some get the free you know thanks a bunch stamp set at the same time it's 33 dollars, so you'd have to add some paper or something to that but i'm gonna do thanks a bunch friend now can i go this way i don't really know if i like it that way okay i'm gonna do thanks a bunch i don't think i have room for friend though let's try this no, I don't think friend is going on here. Change my mind. I won't have room for it, and then I'll then I'll be sad. So let's just get out my black memento ink. Because I really want to say thanks a bunch. But I've got some people doing orders for my catalog kickoffs um, party, so I want to send them a thank you card. Thanks. A bunch. And then friend. 
So get a little piece of paper to do my friend. Okay, there we go. Okay, and then that will be done right away. So I'm just going to go like this. Thanks a bunch, friend. Isn't that cute though, right? Okay, fantastic. So we're just going to put this on here. We're just going to glue that down flat, like so. And I also have a celebration extravaganza going on right now. So the spots are $10. I only have 30 spots left. You're guaranteed a prize. There are 60 prizes and they range from $8 to a 50% off item to free stamp sets to free celebration items. Uh, you know, it's, it's a great way because $10, you get something for free and you might get a $60 item. Like that's pretty awesome, right? Okay, so we'll just add that on here. And then my last little touch is, I'm just going to use some of this great ribbon. And then I'll show you what the other cards look like. ta -dum. We'll put this right here. Thanks a bunch, friend. And we'll go like that. And then the last piece is a little white piece that you can add to the back. And that's where you can write your sentiment. So I'll put that down on here. Like that. And that is my mystery stamping card. So make sure you show me what you make. Um, I'd love to see it. You're welcome to join my Karina's Creations group as well. We do share some stuff on there. I'm going to start trying to share more. Most of my stuff is done in crafting group. But isn't that cute? And then here is another sample done with, what's that farm called again? Oh, where's the farm? Oh, on the farm. Oh, I should have been able to remember that. Isn't that cute with the little animals? That's a bundle. And again, free celebration paper. And then this one is Dainty Delight. So those are three different cards done with three celebration paper packs. See if I can get them in here. So let me know which one you like the best. I'm curious to see. And like I said, if you want to place an order, I'm more than happy to help you. Will you like that, Kim? Kim likes a polka dot paper. Thank you, Kim. Um, great. Thank you. Yeah, they look good together, don't they? Hi, Kim. I think I saw everybody who's on here. And I think I got YouTube here. Yes. We still got Maureen and Kathy. Okay, fantastic. So I want to thank you for joining me today. This was my quickie video. I'd love to see what you do with your mystery stamping card. And I can, if I can help you with an order, let me know. If you want a starter kit, let me know. Um, or if you want a spot in my celebration extravaganza, let me know. It's super fun. Like I said, 30 spots left and the draws will be on Tuesday night. So that's where I'm doing them. So I hope everybody has a fun afternoon and I'm going to get back to work and send out a recording from last night to our crafting crew team. So thanks for joining me today, everybody, and happy Saturday. Bye.